AI is all everybody is talking about right now. Artificial intelligence. AI. Artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence. And AI is changing the way content creators create content. Time Bolt. Mid Journey. Chat GPT. Some people are worried that AI will take their jobs. Like the Guardia! They took your job! Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I don't see AI taking our jobs yet but I do see AI being incorporated into useful tools that can help us speed up the boring or repetitive tasks in our work, which allows us to get better and faster at editing. I believe that as content creators, we need to embrace these AI tools and allow them to do the time consuming work while we focus on the creative side of making videos and the things that only humans can do. Or at least to focus on the things that humans can do way better. And no, ChatGPT is not on this list, but I will leave links down below for everything mentioned in this video. Runway ML is jam packed with AI features, including background removal, expanding an image, erasing and replacing parts of an image, and one of my favorites, a text to color grade LUT tool. Simply upload your footage and type in the look that you want maybe cinematic teal and orange and click on generate. And you can either download the file with the LUT applied or the LUT itself. In Final Cut Pro, I can simply add the custom LUT effect, select the LUT I just created and adjust the intensity to my liking. Time Bolt is a huge time saver because it allows you to cut out all the silences in your video or audio, which is great if you edit a lot of talking head videos, interviews, podcasts, or anything like that. You can add your footage to the app. In this case, the file I'm going to use is 46 minutes long. Time Bolt will strip and analyze the audio. This is happening in real time, by the way. I haven't sped this up at all. You'll see that I get a notification about splitting files longer than 45 minutes into chunks. You'll see that I have the two chunks here and that is just for preview purposes. If I scroll down, you can see all the green parts have been identified by Time Bolt as parts to keep in and all the red parts are silences that will be cut out. The output file is shorter by just over 14 minutes. I can click on any of the sections to cut them out or to keep them in. When I hit play, it will only play the green portions. You can adjust the silence detection settings to your liking, but I find that the default settings generally work really well. When you're done, you can render this out, or what I prefer to do is to export an XML for Final Cut Pro. If you're using Premiere Pro, you could just select the normal XML. I then import the XML file into Final Cut Pro, and this way I'm able to significantly cut down on my editing time. I still need to remove multiple takes to choose the best one, but I'm mostly deleting clips at this point and I'm not cutting and trimming to get through the 46 minutes of raw footage. Time Bolt does have a multicam workflow as well. Let me know if you'd be interested in a dedicated tutorial on Time Bolt in the comments down below. Topaz Video AI is amazing when it comes to upscaling footage. Let's take a look at this old clip of Young Me. I'll import the clip into Topaz Video AI and you'll see that the clip has a resolution of 720 by 576. I can change the output settings to an 8K clip over here. Topaz Video AI has other features like stabilization, motion deblur, frame interpolation options for slow motion and other enhancements. I'll hit preview to see what the upscaled version will look like, and then I'll drag the preview to this flattering frame over here. Topaz Video AI will load the model and generate the preview frame. Look at that boost in clarity and detail. I'll zoom out to fit so you can see the full frame, and this is what the output will look like. Here's another example of this 1080p 120 frames per second shot, upscaled to 4K 120 frames per second. And just look at that, the results are amazing. Midjourney is something that is probably already on your radar because the incredible AI images it can generate are all over the internet right now. All of these images were generated using Midjourney's text to image generation AI. As a content creator, you can use Midjourney to create all sorts of different assets like backgrounds, artwork for storyboards, and so much more. I actually created part of the thumbnail for this video using Midjourney. I typed forward slash imagine and the following prompt a hyper-realistic AI robot with circuitry with flames coming from behind it. The robot is positioned to the left-hand side of the screen following the rule of thirds. The AI is facing towards the right. Dash dash AR 16 by 9. 
The dash dash AR 16x9 is so that mid journey outputs a 16x9 aspect ratio. That gave me four options and I liked the fourth one the most, so I clicked on V4 to get new variations of the fourth image. Of those new variations, I liked version one the most, so I can click on U1 to upscale version one, and that is what I used in my thumbnail. I also generated an IC ledge so that I could take a photo of me and composite it on top. Oh, well, that felt silly. Descript allows you to upload video files or audio files, which it will then transcribe, and you can edit the video or audio by just editing the transcription. This alone is an amazing feature, but Descript also allows you to do screen recordings, add captions and subtitles, remove filler words like um and ah, and my absolute favorite feature is the overdub feature. Let's say you've recorded some audio like I did for this tutorial, but I got the shortcut wrong. I'll select the clips and hit Command G to create a compound clip. The shortcut should be Option G and not Command G, but instead of re-recording that line, I can import my audio into Descript and once it's finished the transcription, I can select the word I want to change and click on Overdub. I'll assign my voice and type in the new word and this is the result. I'll select the clips and hit Option G to create a compound clip. Video.ai will create short form videos for social media from long form videos automatically. For this example, I'll upload a video podcast I did for a client. I'll tell video that I wanted to output vertical 9x16 aspect ratio videos. I'll select three templates that I like the look of and you can add social handles if you want. I'll click done and video will process the video. Video will email you when it's done and then you can review the clips. In this case, video has created seven different reels for me. I'll preview this clip. One of the biggest things that I've seen a lot of people have success with recently is doing scalp massages and increasing blood flow. And that is amazing. I can also edit the video before downloading it. I can change the background color, edit the title of the video and the color and style of the subtitles. When you're done, you can export the reel. The free plan allows you to export a 720p version and the paid plan gives you a 1080p download option. Adobe Podcast is in beta and it claims to be able to take bad voice recordings and turn them into studio quality recordings. Have a listen to the example on their website. I'm in a conference room with the window open and it's pretty echoey in here too. Not the best place to record audio. Yet with enhanced speech, all of the background noise and echo is gone. It sounds pretty impressive and I wanted to test it with my own audio and compare that to Final Cut Pro's built-in voice isolation feature. I recorded this audio with my Rode VideoMic NTG into a Zoom recorder, and that's what you've been listening to. I also recorded the audio into my Sony a7 III using just the camera mic, which obviously sounds awful. When I run it through Final Cut Pro's voice isolation, this is what that sounds like. And while there's definitely an improvement, it's not great. It's definitely not studio quality. But when I run the same audio from the camera microphone through Adobe Podcast, the results are actually really impressive. Occasionally, you get some strange artifacts and glitches, but overall, the results are pretty good. And just because I'm curious, I wanted to see what the audio would sound like coming through the Rode mic into the Zoom through Adobe Podcast. So I put that through Adobe Podcast, and that's what this sounds like. This is a fun one because you can create AI-powered voiceovers by just typing in text or copying and pasting a script. I'll paste this script in here and click on Generate. Wait a few seconds and here is my voiceover. 11 Labs is probably the most realistic sounding text to audio voiceover AI tool that I've seen on the internet. It's useful if you need a voiceover in a pinch and you don't have time to find one on Upwork or if you need a guide voiceover to edit to until the real voiceover has been recorded. You can hear that it's not perfect, but I think in time, these AI models will get better and better, and it will be harder to tell an AI voice from a real one. Luminar Neo is a pretty cool alternative to Lightroom that allows you to quickly add presets or make a ton of adjustments to your images. A lot of its features use AI, like the sky replacement tool. You can simply select your new sky and it will be automatically replaced without you having to do any masking. And it even replaces the reflection in reflective surfaces like water. 
You can also intelligently enhance the image or even intelligently crop the image using AI based on what the AI model thinks is the best composition for that image. I actually have a dedicated video on Luminar Neo that you need to watch if you want to find an alternative to Lightroom. You can use DALI to generate images like Midjourney, although Midjourney's results are way, way better in my opinion. But you can use DALI to also edit your images. Simply choose an image to upload, you can crop it if you like. I usually skip cropping. Then you can move your generation frame area to make sure it covers the area that you want to edit using AI. I'll select the eraser tool and change my brush size before painting over the graffiti that I want to change. I can type octopus graffiti in the box up top. Let's maybe add bold, colorful octopus graffiti with tentacles to it and I'll hit generate. You can cycle between the different options and then hit accept on the one you like, which you can then download. Most of these AI tools have free versions that are limited in some way, but they also have premium or paid options that give you access to more features or allow you to do more. So I'd highly recommend you click on the links down below to check them out for yourself and give them a try. Now that you know more about these 10 AI tools for content creators, you'll want to watch this tutorial next where I show you how I created this cool effect using AI.